Hello, it's Kimberly again and welcome back to the 12 Tools of Christmas. Today I'm going to be showing you the micro tip scissors. I love these scissors. They are I do believe they are the best on the market. They are super sharp. Um, let me quickly tell you they're $9.95 and it's Z534. It comes with this wonderful case that protects you from getting poked as well as piercing your other uh, product as you put it in your toolkit. I love them. They're super sharp for cutting paper. You can just you get a nice quick cut like so and everything. I use it for when I can't put my hands on the edge distressor. I take it and with a closed blade and I can just run it across the paper, rough it right up. Really super fun. If I don't have my piercing tool close by, I can use it to poke a hole because the tips are very sharp and insert a blade. You won't get the precision that you have with using the piercing tool or with the ruler, but you still, in a pinch, it works out perfectly fine. You know, when you're cutting your... Oh, I wanted to share with you, I always do have two pairs of scissors at all times. One I use strictly for paper, that way it's always sharp and clean. The other pair I use for cutting ribbon, adhesives, 3D foam tape. I, and I always keep this ribbon on here. That reminds my customers, use this for cutting anything and this one for paper. But when you do use your, um, the foam, when you're cutting adhesive, do you see that on there? You always have leave a little bit of residue. Remember our rub and remove eraser from earlier this week? All you have to do is take it to the blade, rub it right on there, and it's as clean as a whistle and it, you won't have that stickiness that you get when you have that. Also, don't forget this. This is another tip I learned that since doing my video. I always get residue left on my first amount. You can take the rub and erase the eraser and it picks it right up. But we're talking about scissors today. Another cool tip I have for you. Remember this card from earlier this week? Oops, got it upside down for you. There you go. I use, when I don't have my tweezers handy, to pick up these bitty sparkles. Just take the blade and it's almost close together, pick it right up, and then I take it to the guard and put the sparkle down. It's just that easy because you know how tough it can be sometimes when you're trying to pick up your sparkles with your fingertips or the tweezers and they fly all over. Here it just slides right on here. So those are some wonderful tips for using it, but be very careful. Um, so I showed you how you can oh, a lot, how you can pierce a hole, put it in. You can edge distress by taking the closed edge and roughing it along there. I showed you how you can. Did I show you how you can sharpen it? I take super fine grid sandpaper, you know, right on our block here. Take it to the blade. Oops, see, I just poked myself. Be very careful and just run it like so to sharpen. You can use it as tweezers in a pinch and remember always you put the case back on it to protect yourself. You have a great day and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.